seven lifeguards may soon be hired at a beach where swimming has been discouraged in the past. Two drownings at Euclid Beach last year put a new focus on safety. News Channel 5's Homa Bash is at Euclid Beach. Homa, people swim there in spite of the danger. Yeah, we saw several people out here in the water earlier today. Even though you can see this sign very clearly says this beach is unguarded and swim at your own risk. But according to a Cleveland Metro Park's job posting, there's supposed to be a lifeguard here this summer. Something beachgoers told me they think is badly needed. Tina Hill grew up coming to Euclid Beach. Now she brings her two kids here. And while she never takes her eyes off them, she says lifeguards couldn't hurt. I just think it'd be safer for the kids, you know, parents, you know, some, some extra eyes, you know. A job posting on the Metro Parks website simply says they're looking for lifeguards for Edgewater and Euclid beaches from May to Labor Day. The Euclid posting is new because in the past, Metro Parks officials have said erosion, shifting currents, and sudden drop-offs make swimming here unsafe. It's not banned, but these signs drill that message home. Because everywhere else they have lifeguards, so what's different down here, you know? That's the same question several city and county leaders have had about these east side beaches. Councilman Mike Polensic even submitting a resolution to the council in March. And this petition by residents demanding to know why their lives don't matter. I think without a lifeguard, it is just a 100% chance that something will go wrong eventually. 17 people drowned in Lake Erie last year. The last one here at Euclid Beach was in August. Cleveland Metro Parks has not yet said how many lifeguards they're going to put out here or where they'll be placed specifically. Live at Euclid Beach, I'm Homa Bash, News Channel 5.